Hi, welcome to forward algorithm to find maximum likelihood in hidden Markov model. The as per the previous uh, problem uh, here to find out the hidden sequence for given observation 313 that means that person is eating three ice creams on first day, uh, one ice cream on second day, three ice creams on third day. So from for this observation we know only the observation for this observation we should identify the state what is the hidden state sequence for given observations 3 1 3 so jason eats uh, this uh, ice creams in the uh, given 3 days now we have to identify what is the hidden hidden state of first day either hot or cold what is the uh, so second day based upon the observation of one ice cream uh, eaten by Jason, hot or cold like that? What is the uh, um, hidden state on the third day uh, for by consuming the observations uh, three ice creams, uh, hot or cold? So now this can be uh, given uh, by using the uh, state transition diagram. Now we are going so in this one. We have to identify eight sequences uh, uh, probability values. From this, we have to identify maximum probability values to find out the correct sequence, hidden states. But using the forward algorithm, we can reduce the uh, time consumption to calculate uh, the eight sequences. Just we can uh, calculate only one sequence by using the forward algorithm we can reduce the time consumption to avoid uh, remaining seven sequences un unwanted seven sequences so for that we will uh, make the uh, probability uh, matrix forward of here n comma t so here t is the length of observations n is length of uh, state graph right from each state we have to move from first state to n number of states. Here our number of states are 3 but the, all these 3 states are hidden states. So we have to move from 1 to uh, 3 states 1 by 1. Uh, here whenever we are moving we have to uh, multiply the uh, initial state value and the prob uh, emission probability. Here the initial state is start state so from the start state you are moving to any one of the state uh, that that may be a cold state or that may be a hot state so we are having the probability value 0 0.8 uh, to the hot 0 0.2 for the cold so that we have to multiply here with the observations once you reach the uh, state you will get some observation once you go to the hot state you will get some observation once you go to the cold state you will get some observation that should be multiplied and assigned into the forward of s comma 1 then again from this is for initialization step then after reaching the state right you will move to the uh, you move from the hot state to next sequence so for that you have to move the this one okay so from this uh, after reaching the hot state you will move to the sequence based upon this sequence right so here this is the start right so this after uh, starting uh, from the start to reaching the first state from this you will get some observation then based upon that you will move to the second state so for that here we have to calculate the uh, value of th this one that value we got at this step right so here we will use uh, this one this value right so that is the value we, are, we got from the forward of this s comma 1 forward of s comma 1 then this value is this one for that uh, person moving to hot state from the initial state then that is this term then after reaching that he will take some transition value right the transition value is here we will take the observation we will take the observation right so based upon that observation transition probability will be there then after reaching that state you will get uh, emission probability so you look at that there is transition probability available here then once you reach using the transition probability 
then you will reach the state then you will get some observation okay observation is here this one right so based upon that you will calculate the values and assign into the variable forward s comma t this has to be done for all three states all possible three states okay so finally we will assign that we will add all the probability values all the probability values uh, that means for pattern 3 for first day for pattern 1 on the second day for pattern 3 on the third day so we will get some probability values for this theory uh, then we have to sum it up so that is the uh, value this one and assigned it to the variable finally we are returning the forward probability so now based upon this we will apply the same problem what we have seen jason's uh, eating uh, Jason's task to eat ice creams on given days. So this is the initialization uh, what we have done in this step and recursion uh, we will calculate the value probability value for each state. Uh, once you once that person is uh, moving to one state to another state there is the possibility of observations. So based upon that we have to calculate the alpha t of that particular state so which is done by using the observations from that particular state t particular state t right so that we have to do it so after after calculating that alpha value right so we will uh, find out the total probability of that entire sequence now we will see one by one the graphical representation of the solution is given here uh, circles are representing the uh, states and the squares are representing the observations this these are the observations for three days so initial state is this one which is indicated with pi so now we uh, don't know the state sequence okay so we have to consider both states on the day number one this is day number one so uh, for the day number one may be a hot or may be a cold so we have to consider both so both states for both state we should identify the probability of the hot and probability of cold then whichever is maximum probability value that will be considered as a hidden state for that from the state uh, start state we will consider person is moving to the cold state first assumption is we are making we are uh, considering as a cold state so that is uh, indicated with uh, symbol alpha 1 1 so the person is moving from start state to cold state right then for that we have we, he has to make the transition right so the transition will be here from the start state to we he is moving to cold state okay so this is the start state so when uh, once he is moving here there is the, some probability value that is i guess 0 0.2 okay so once for reaching this cold state there is the probability value so probability of cold given start that's what mentioned here probability of cold the current state is cold previous state is start so what is the pro pro value here probability of qi given qi minus 1 so that is the generalized formula so based upon that generalized formula here we are making this statement then after reaching the cold state there is the observation already we know the he will consume three ice creams on the state cold so probability of three given cold so probability of three given cold so like that there may be a possibility of a uh, hot state also so we have to calculate the probability of hot state that is indicated with alpha 1 2 so we will assume the person is moving from start state to hot state so for that if it is the hot state is here then there is the probability to move into the hot state there is the value 0 0.8 so this is the uh, indicated by probability of hot given start that means he is moving from start state to hot that means this is the current state hot the previous state is uh, start so qi is the cold i mean hot state um, uh, previous state is start so that's what indicated here probability of h given start after reaching the hot state the there is the observation he will consume 
three ice creams so that is indicated with probability of three given heart and next one now he reached the first state okay first day after completion of the first day he will move to the next day the next day pattern already we know that is one so the next day also may be a hot or may be a cold so we have to calculate the probability for both days so when you are applying the first alpha 21 cold we will assume the second day first as cold there is a two possibility the previous day may be a cold or previous day may be a hot so two possibilities are there we have to consider this previous day two possibilities so previous day may be a cold so from the cold he that is second day also may be a cold so cold given cold okay probability of cold given cold so that's what indicated here probability of cold given cold after reaching here he, the, there is the observation one so he will consume one ice cream after reaching the cold state so that is the probability of one given cold so here uh, already we have calculated uh, alpha 1 1 because he, the initial state is here he reached the first state so first state is over so that probability to be multiplied with this path this path okay so that is alpha 1 1 like that second probability is this path okay so from this path here already uh, he he completed the first state that is indicated with alpha 1 2 so alpha 1 2 then uh, probability of uh, reaching the cold state from heart state so probability of cold given heart probability of cold given heart after reaching the cold state he will consume one ice cream so probability of one given cold then likewise we have to calculate the possibility of alpha 2 2 so alpha 2 2 again it is having two possibilities this possibility is here previous day is hot so already alpha 1 2 is there so here alpha 1 uh, alpha 1 2 is this one okay then probability of hot given hot so current state is also hot previous state is also hot so hot given hot this one then after reaching the hot state he will consume one ice cream so probability of one given hot like that this probability is the this path so probability of hot given cold previous state is cold right so that's what mentioned here hot given cold then after reaching the state he will consume probability of one given hot that is given here so already alpha 1 1 is calculated so that is multiplied with this term so here we have to add both possibilities so this path and this path so both probabilities to be added for finding the probability of that particular state now it has completed two states now the third pattern is observation given three so here the third day also may be a cold or uh, heart so we have to identify i mean calculate the probability for both states first we will calculate for cold state so cold state getting from two possibilities the previous day may be a uh, cold given cold so i mean these two possibilities okay so previous step may be a cold so cold given cold already we are having the alpha 2 1 so alpha 2 1 is there and probability of cold given cold after reaching the cold he will consume three ice creams so three given cold so probability of three given cold then adding with another possibility this one so here from the hot state it is moving to c so probability of c given cold and multiplied with alpha 2 2 so alpha 2 2 probability of cold given hot then after reaching this cold state we will con he will consume three ice creams so probability of three given cold likewise we have to calculate for hot so when you are calculating for the hot alpha uh, 2 1 first possibility alpha 2 2 second possibility so we will take first possibility alpha 2 1 then previous state is cold so probability of hot given cold ha current state is hot previous state is cold then after reaching the uh, hot state he will consume three ice creams so three given hot then adding with another possibility of this one alpha 2 2 multiplied with previous state is hot current state is hot so probability of 
current state hot from previous state hot the after reaching this probability of three given hot so which is given here now we have to substitute these values these are all values already available with us in this uh, given structure you look at that probability of one ice cream eight uh, on the day hot 0 0.2 probability probability of two ice creams consuming on the day hot uh, prob 0 0.4 probability of three ice creams consuming on the day hot 0 0.4 like that probability of one ice cream consuming on the state cold 0 0.5 probability of two ice creams consuming on the day cold 0 0.5 probability of three uh, consuming on the day cold 0 0.1 now we have to uh, um, assign these values in the appropriate formula here so when you are assuming that value the probability of cold given start 0 0.2 probability of 3 given cold 0 0.1 so which is giving 0 0.02 likewise so now we have calculated alpha 11 0 0.02 then for cold i mean hot state so he is moving from start to uh, hot state you have to substitute these values as per the previous uh, slide content so 0 0.8 into 0 0.4 so 0 0.32 then now we have done two values alpha 11 alpha 12 so first pattern is over on the second pattern we have to substitute the values 0 0.02 is here alpha 11 and 0 0.5 is here probability of cold given cold so this is available in this structure probability of cold given cold right so probability of cold given cold is 0 0.5 right so that's what given here so we have to mention every values based upon that uh, so uh, then probability of one given cold so all the values substituted you will get 0 0.069 and alpha 22 so alpha 22 we will get 0 0.0404 and alpha 31 this value alpha 31 is 0.005 alpha 32 you will get 0 0.023496 now we have calculated this step okay this step we have calculated for all the states okay finally we have to identify maximum probability of that value so here the maximum probability of this so you will go back okay so for the pattern 3 which is the maximum value for pattern 3 the maximum value is here among this both 0 0.02 is the maximum value so this will be the uh, hidden state for observation 3 right and next one is you go back so go back to the previous state so which are which is the maximum value 0 0.069 is the maximum value so 0 0.069 is this one so the pattern for uh, i mean hidden state for pattern 1 is c okay this is the maximum value then you go back to the previous state so here the pa uh, the pattern is 3 what is the hidden state sequence the so we have to find the maximum probability value 0 0.32 so 0 0.32 is this one so here the hidden sequence hidden state is uh, hot for the pattern 3 so now we found hch is the hidden state for the given sequence 3 1 3 so finally we have to calculate the total probability for being this hch um, 0 0.412 so the value 0 0.32 uh, 0 0.069 uh, this one and 0 0.023 this one so we will get uh, maximum probability for this sequence 0 0.412 you see uh, in the normal method uh, we have calculated 8 um eight possibilities then from that eight possibilities we should identify the maximum probability value of any one of the state sequence okay but here only one sequence we have calculated that sequence is having the maximum probability value so we are reducing the time uh, by using forward algorithm to find likelihood state sequence in hidden marco model Thanks for watching.